Thank you for watching JWC Motorsports today as we change a transmission mount on a 2004 Dodge Neon SXT. So in order to remove the transmission mount you have to remove the battery as well as the airbox here. So I've got the battery re removed and the airbox out of the way. So underneath the battery what tray here, which we'll have to remove, is the, the um, transmission mount. See there's this bolt here connected to the transmission. And there's this bolt over here connects to the transmission. Here's the bracket, is this, it's got a connection back here as well, and then this through bolt here is this bolt here. Those are the bolts we got to remove. We got the engine transmission supported from above, remove the, take the tension off, this one out pretty easily. Okay, the importance of having the motor and transmission braced, you see that alignment? So it'll drop down if it doesn't uh, have support. Instead of having to, a little bit too much, I needed to put the jack under there, I forgot about that. So with the jack under, the motor, just Lift it up, and you see that we're lining back up. That's okay. Got that held there. A little bit more tension on the uh, upper support. And then I'll take out these bolts. So 
So, got these two bolts here, the three bolt here, the mount to the transmission. Lowering the transmission down. Okay, saw that. We can reach the bolts here. We'll be able to pull them out, and at that point, we'll be able to get the transmission mount out. So, get the breaker bar in here, get a little bit more leverage with these loose. Got them all broke loose. I'm gonna zip them out. One. Two. See, those all are out. That one's out. Get back up here. Motor mount is loose with the exception of this hole. See here, which is what the transmission shift cable goes through. So to get that out, you pop the end off here and you slide it, squeeze the pins, and then I'll slide out. So what I discovered was that this bracket right here that I'm working on has to be removed in order to get the transmission mount removed. So there's four bolts, which I'm working on one of them right now, and they're a little bit challenging, the ones on the lower part, and the one in the very back is got to be the most difficult one. You have to kind of push the transmission mount towards the front of the car, get a socket with an extension on there to get it uh, broke loose and then removed. So in order to get this bracket out, there's a nut on the stud right underneath the fuse box, which I'm working on removing the fuse box right in, in, at this moment, which is a couple of uh, nuts on studs. So get this out of the way and then you can work on the bracket. Uh, it just takes a lot of time and patience to get this thing out.
Okay, just release, release some tension. Drop the uh, engine transmission down a little bit. So I can get to this bolt. So I jacked it up a little bit too far and the mount was blocking it. So the uh, point I'm trying to get here, the actual mount bolts are underneath on this side. Remove this bracket. Last one is this guy here, which just be by how it's set up. Let's see. Drop the transmission a little bit more, and I can get to it. It's a wobble extension. Gives me a little bit of slot to work with. Those three are out, and now there's one more. What's that? Uh oh. Just like in football, thunder and lightning will clear the field in a hurry. Yeah. Well, hello. Good idea. That is how we remove the transmission mount. Okay, so this bracket has four bolts on the uh, fender oil that hold it in place. And it's got this one up above. And then 
transmission bracket. The transmission mount attaches to this bracket down here and then three bolts on this side of it. Um, three of these bolts are easier to get to on this side, up here, here, and here. You gotta adjust it. But the hardest one is back here in this position back here. The camera died while I was working on that one. It got hot. Better ran out quick. And uh, I lost that video. That section of the video. So I kind of put it back together the way it would be. And it can be a bugger. I have to move the, trend, the uh, engine up and down, use the jack, kind of adjust the angle of it. But you can finally get an extension in down here this way and get to that. But I had to take push the transmission mount forward in order to be able to get it. So once I was able to get that, back that out, then this mount is able to come up and out. long through bolt goes through this point into the transmission mount and then into this the bracket that's actually here attaches to that that threads onto into that bolt or that nut capture nut right there okay actually threads you kind of see some threading goes through there all right It'll be sitting like that then this has these tabs to help the alignment on the mount yeah it keeps in a spot keeps from rocking too far so that's pretty much how it is. Now I'm gonna take a break, charge the GoPros, pull off that video section, and then uh, probably grab some lunch, and we'll put this thing back together. Got some shade. Might be a little bit more uh, wind noise. It is a little bit windy, but uh, now we'll be putting the transmission mount back into the car and uh, get this put back together again thanks for watching
transmission lock. Get it. Sit back in place. Okay. See now, this bracket is put back in place. Transmission mount. Work back into its position. We'll get it engine jack back up. We'll attach it to the transmission and then we'll work it in place to get that center bolt across. So I'll have it mounted securely on the transmission before we mount it to the front. So, alright. As you can see, Got the bolts there tightened down. And now through bolt. You see I don't got it lined up. So we gotta find out where that's at. Almost there. Down just a little bit. Okay. Let's see you. Like it. Let's see. Winner, winner. Here we are, sitting, we got one, two, and then kind of sitting there, out right here, you can see them there, up under there, three more. So it's a total of five bolts that attach the engine, or the transmission mount to the transmission. You get the through bolt right there attaches the transmission um, mount to the uh, frame rail the body which is this you see the three bolt comes through right there and then this attaches with four bolts and this nut here to the uh, the body frame all right so now got to torque these down got to reset the transmission shift that back where it was at and then uh put it all back together so hope this helps anybody out there uh it is a challenge you saw uh you do need suggest a jack to be able to lift and support the engine uh i also have a engine um support that i mounted to this bolt here for the uh, uh starter and uh, it helped to actually hold the engine and transmission up when I was working on it without having the jack under there. So basically, it full the jack was fully released. So 
Uh, you could get away with just having the jack under there, but you have to keep it there the entire time. So, uh, again, hope this helps. And uh, subscribe and like.